All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have been waiting to make some Minecraft. It's been a minute, it's been a while, but we're here, back on the world. Uh, last, if you didn't watch the last stream, this is what we made. We made this crazy and insane, uh, it, uh what am I saying? It's, it's a goddamn tube. We made a tube. This is gonna be where our enchanting room goes, but, uh, we're not gonna get to that today. We are gonna get into some automation of some farms. Granted, for the sugar cane so that we can get enough paper and stuff for books because that's what we're going to need and we're going to need a lot of it. But shout out to the non-official, unofficial sponsor, I don't even think this counts, of G Fuel. You got that? You see that? G Fuel. So, this is the stuff that keeps me up till 3 o'clock in the morning every day since quarantine. And you know what? You guys are bad for me, but I'm going to still drink you. So, if you guys like it, just go look up G Fuel, okay? Alright, <laughs> don't, I really don't know why I put that in there, but I thought it'd be funny and cool for, not really cool, but funny for me to put that in the channel. So, moving along, uh, I didn't do too much during the last stream, I kind of more moved around, moved around, ran around, made some, not, didn't do too much. But today we, we're gonna do some automated sugarcane, and I've been playing around on a test world, ooh, this is my little bridge, if you haven't seen that from the stream, go check out the stream, uh, but yeah, we're going to I'm coming over here because this is where this is where we're going to start. We're going to start by making a automated sugarcane farm that just, you know, auto harvests things. So, I'm going to come back with some materials, some things. I need to go look at my test world and kind of go figure out what I need. We're going to make it in a one chunk and I think I'm only going to make two layers of it because I don't think I'm going to need more. Actually, I could make more, but due to resources, I'm not going to have enough. So, give me about a few minutes and I'll come back. All right, everybody. So, I'm not no I ain't no redstone engineer. I ain't no goddamn mumbo jumbo looking like i know what to do with redstone however i did watch some videos i did in my test world actually complete this and in my test world i actually had four of these running but with the materials that i have i'm probably gonna build one build a second one because how i have it is all right you're gonna have like you're gonna have one start okay say say it starts right here right it starts on the block and then about two over then there's another one and then it like flips over and we were able to at least fit four of these within a single 16 by 16 chunk, which I'm assuming is the normal chunk size. That's my plan. I'm going to build the first one, and I kind of want to build a, like, a cool building out of this. So I do have this outline for it, and we probably we are going to have to build on the inside of it. So I'm going to start building it, getting the outline done. Uh, we're going to build out a cobble. I know I've got nothing really pretty to build it out of, but that's all right. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, so we're gonna have to build. Uh, we'll go. We'll go. Like I will get an outline for you guys. I will get some stuff going, some stuff rolling. Uh, we'll build it out. I'll come back to you guys when I got like semi the outline done. All right. Uh, all right. So waking up, resetting the day, making sure everything is good and dandy, whatever. Um. So I did realize I did not have enough materials, which is kind of bad which is honestly not the best so i'm gonna pick up two more stacks while we're here i should still have enough materials to kind of just finish it off though i mean redstone wise i mean it doesn't i just realized i have like no sugar cane to even get this started so i'm gonna come over here real quick and steal these i'm not gonna need all of these but die zombie but now now we have now we no oh, oh berries berries don't want to hit the berries all right so now we should be good good enough to at least get things started get things going um i'll catch you guys over at the little farm oh okay so we're back or we're finally made it back to the little farm i know it looks like shambles right now um i will definitely show you what it's going to turn out like so okay after collecting those materials that i needed so we're going to grab we're going to grab the pistons the observers we're going to need the redstone and I think that's it for now. I am going to need some glass. I am going to need some glass to make sure that I think sunlight hits it. I don't know. I don't know if they completely need sunlight, but I definitely know they do. Okay, so what, what else was I missing? Oh, I was also forgetting the water bucket. So we're going to, ooh. So <laughs> we're going to put it in that channel and that's where, and we're going to close that up. So that's, all right. So we're going to have that there so we can grow our sugar cane and so that our sugar cane just is able to be placed on the dirt. Thankfully, now you can place sugarcane on dirt and you don't have to worry about sand. 
Um, so now what we need to place is, if I, okay, I thought it was going to fall. So now we're going to have to take these pistons, and we're going to have to line them up all evenly across this line. So what these are going to, wait, do I need it one more higher? Oh, wait, no, 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 we're good. I was going to say, I was like, it's only going to hit the bottom one, but the observer is going to be higher up, so it's going to, yes, yes, I know, I know exactly what I'm doing. Don't question it. Okay. So now what we're going to need is we're going to have to place, take some cobblestone, build a slight path across these so that we can run the redstone across these so that they connect. And then as well as hook up the observers. So if I take my observers, which look very interesting in this texture pack. All right. So the red side is where the redstone signal is produced. So, and then the other side is what's observing if there is any change to the block in front of it, because that's how observers work, right? Is whatever happens in front, it will send a redstone signal. So now taking our redstone dust and connecting it, all right, connect it all up. And then what I gotta do is, all right, so now that should technically work. What we have here is a semi-functional sugarcane farm so whenever all right so i'll just show you right so all right you got your sugarcane growing and they all start at the bottom and they only go to about three high so that's why the observers are at the top as soon as it hits the top right sends them all and all the sugarcane gets launched but what we need to build and what i kind of want to do is put glass here but for now i can put just cobblestone i know it's going to look ugly and suck but I will get some glass definitely before next episode and make it a look a little bit better. But for the time being, cobblestone is what we're going to have to work with just because of my materials and everything else. So now what we need to work on is definitely the system in which it catches all of the um, all of the sugarcane droppings. Wow, that sounds like bird or bat droppings. <laughs> but no. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a minecart system that has a minecart with a hopper in it and it's going to run right across this just picking up each individual sugar cane i do oh i might have just screwed that i need that redstone block come here i probably should have had the rails and everything ready real quick uh hopper we're gonna chuck i uh, will just take all this i'm not gonna really need it yet um powered rails all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this redstone block here right and then above it a powered rail and same for the other side. I knew I was going to need my pickaxe. So we're going to take this, drop a redstone block, and then take another power rail, and then run a normal rail all the way across this if I have to awkwardly jump across it. And then a chest should be placed. Uh, I forgot the chest. Wow. Quick, one thing before I actually... Um, actually, no, I can place the chests. So then what we do... All right, so we're going to place that there. We're going to come around because I can't access that. And then we're going to place a hopper above that and then another rail. All right. And then the last bit that we need to do is we need to put a minecart with a hopper at the powered railed end and let it go. And that's the system. So technically how it should work is, all right, observer hits. I can probably simulate it real quick. All right, so we're at the top. If I don't fall in it. All right, so observers are waiting for the sugar cane to grow. And while they are waiting, the minecart is just standby, running around constantly, always running. And by time, one sugar cane, uh, I'll put, let's, let's just fill it up because, oh, I am stuck already. This is not good. This is not good to observe. All right, so now all of our sugar cane is placed and correctly growing. So if this technically works, I place one sugar cane here, sets the redstone signal off, which then pushes all the pistons, which kicks the bot or the second, or I guess the middle sugar cane. So you drop two sugar cane for about every place that you put. So within these 14, do some quick maths and you'll figure it out. And then that will drop. And then the minecart with the hopper that runs under the dirt is going to pick that up. So if, if this technically works, it places, they all fall. You can see them disappear. And then we come back down here. The minecart hopper is going by. And each time it passes that hopper, it should place one in and into the chest. And as you can see, it is loading it. It's really slow and it's not the fastest. But it's definitely something that I can have and build a bigger one. To have multiple of 
and then we can just have enough sugar cane to last us forever. I mean, this is like one of my first ever like actual, I want to say good attempts at redstone. I've always sucked at it, but definitely this season, this season or this series, I am taking the challenge on of making actual good redstone contraptions that actually matter and are actually useful as well as building bomb ass places because you know what i'm gonna be the best minecraft channel on the goddamn planet uh i'm not gonna just do minecraft but i will play skate 3 as well and everybody welcome to my test world where this is the concept that i have for a crazy big one that is just gonna absolutely break the game as soon as i get enough materials so what we have here is so you can see the one that we have already set up and then there's another one straight across and then you kind of connect them connect the two and then you have another one right down the other side so you kind of have two and two together and it gives you four of them but what's awesome about this is that you can run rail carts under it and do the same thing i was already doing so now i have a chest here that has a lot and another lot so i want to show you some craziness so if we come over here and command if we go game rule and then we go rand random tick speed right and we set that to a ridiculous amount of a 10,000. Uh, I might break my computer, but we set that up. And what you get is you get constant frame rate drop, as, as you can see. But also you get an insane amount of production. Uh, it's crazy. It's insane. I can't really adjust tick speed, and I don't want to work with sugarcane to produce this much. But as you can see, like things are going to start getting filled up. These... These hopper minecarts are going to get filled completely. Um, I, I'd say in a perfect world, you'd have a bunch of hoppers here and stuff like that. But I was just working on the design. Uh, let's set that back to, I think, the normal, right, is three, if I remember. So that's, that's the idea that I have for it. And definitely, I will be bringing you guys, or at least finishing this off for you. Um, but yeah, that this was an interesting episode. I've never really done redstone completely. And it was so fun to kind of sit down, figure it out, watch some videos, watch some tips on how to do it. I'm pretty sure I got, I took somewhat of the design that someone showed me where it was just like a simple, like single three by three one. And I was just like, Oh, well, well, why don't we just make this in a chunk, right? Make a, a whole ass, uh, sugarcane farm chunk so that's what i intended on doing so if you guys did like the video and you want to support me any way shape or form how about you hit the like button hit the subscribe we're almost 200 subs uh leave a comment of what you want i know it's not skate 3 but minecraft is on my mind at the moment and i will get back into skate 3 just not at the moment i just need a break from it we'll come back in about a week or two i just i want to do some minecraft so we're gonna have a minecraft week and then a skate three will come back i promise i'm not lying to you i might even bring skate three earlier it's just i like to play the minecraft so i'll catch you guys in the next video my name's Nalad. you guys stay awesome you stay the best and i'll see you all next time Go.